as you can see the titans are playing in um i don't know when that video will come out by this time i'm sure it should have come out um and you guys would have seen that video they're playing in now and then i will get to some testing but let me tell you you guys aren't ready you are not ready for this in any case what do we need now to match the towers we need the center so we have the ultra evolution center um let's see what it's all about i'm sure it's going to be a lot of the same that's going on there um let's check what we have here and i'm going to pop this up as well for video and um then we will so these as you guys sure you're well aware by now this is going to be the svs series with those then the center then the bookshelves then the elevations i've got all of them in so the center will have its own video i'm going to pop it up now it will play in and then we will also do the review on that center and i will also do a review on the system as a whole so as with all svs stuff on top you have your registration and manual and they give you some 3m feet the box this could be a little bit better they just got the polystyrene here they got no protection here and they got no protection there um a hard knock on the side here will go straight into this at least these had a bit of extra protection there <coughs> so svs yeah i would say put something here put another piece in here you're gonna have a lot of comebacks so that's something to look at let's get to the rest of it I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on the ground and then slide it out. Oh, this is a difficult one. Well, I think the best bet will be the same as we did on the front and do that. Let's see if that works. Mm. Also, no. so let's see. If we grip them from the sort of handle on there to get that out easier. Oh, I'm guessing I was just a bit of a dum dum. Maybe I should just have flipped the box around and then shook it out until the polystyrene comes out. In 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 hit in hindsight, I think that was the right way to do it. We just did it the wrong way. But okay, it came out. Let's get let's get to the rest. Where oh, yeah, it's taped. Again, gloss black, so they did put it in a nice little protective um, um, felt. We have the back side first. So while we have it like that, let's look at the back side first. I'm going to bring it closer for you guys. You can see the binding terminals, dual ported. Let's turn it around. And again, look at that edge on the back, stuff you won't even see. But they put it there as attention to detail and this is the right side up there we go again edges on the front tilted to the back so this is playing slightly up almost like an elevation speaker but how beautiful is this entire range let me get this out of the way So nice and matching the front, we have the same, the same, these are sixes, these are sixes, and this looks like a four, and then we have the same tweeter, interesting that they did not stick to the same size drivers as on the fronts, um, interesting, very interesting, I would have thought they stick to the same. So we'll hear how this sounds. I'm sure they are all exactly matched as a set. Um, I want to bring an elevation speaker and just quickly put it here and see what driver is in there. Okay, guys, so here we have an elevation speaker now on top of the center. Yeah, so the elevation is the same size mid-range. These are bigger. I'm sure they did this so you can get a bigger, deeper voice. And then you have the bigger driver and the smaller driver. So this will pick up smaller details this will be the deeper and especially having the dual ports at the back um, base from this i'm sure is going to be significant and um, a very nice punch to it so again ports at the back i'm in a cabinet which is not ideal you're going to want a bit of distance from the wall 
I've got a bit of distance there, but I'm going to have to calibrate this with D-Rack to get it sounding perfect. But so far, how beautiful is this new range from SVS? Everything on these is just... Oh, and I'm not a fan for gloss black speakers, but this needs to be in gloss black. I think these will look stunning in white. I actually said to Alan, um, this is the right type of speaker with all these curves to show off in a bold color. SVS, if you want to make some sort of limited edition royal blue or green. Um, I'm sure the white, even the white shows off the lines more because black hides a lot of lines. And there's so many lines to this entire design from the back. And it's not just, it's all different angles. And um, I work with wood and to make things like this, it is a very, very difficult job to get everything lined up correctly to seal all the, the joints and then to sand it down and paint it to this perfection. Guys, you've got no idea. You have no idea. But okay, so that is going to be um, it for the unboxing of the center speaker. I'm going to put it up now for testing and then I'll do a little video of the whole system and the center and all of that. Maybe put the sensor up against some other sensors. We'll see. There's a lot of content we can do. But again, please, if you enjoyed this, go like and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next video. Cheers. Bye. Welcome back, everybody. Today, SVS Ultra Evolution Center. It's a mouthful. All of these. <laughs> but I'm starting to get a hang of it. Okay, so let's go over this center channel. It is a three-way center channel. Again, having the diamond coated tweeter. We have a small little four-inch driver there doing mid-duty. And then we have the, the six-inch drivers doing the bass duty on the center speaker. It's not a small center, but it's also not excessively huge. Again, it has that angle to the face. Um, having the tapered edges, uh, very, very beautiful build as with all the Ultra um, speakers, Ultra Evolution speakers. It is quite high because they are 6 inch drivers. So when you're going to be fitting this into your cabinet, make sure you have the height. Ports are rear mounted, so make sure you have a bit of space at the back. Depth of the center speaker a bit deeper than you would be used to so not as wide But they made up for that volume and height and depth of the center speaker So I've been testing this with the elevations with the bookshelves and also with the floor standards What did I find you can make a nice little cinema setup with either of these? It's going to come down to the base um, and where you want to cross over at. If you are going to be using the elevation speakers, you are going to be crossing a bit higher and they are not for stereo as well. If you are going to be using the bookshelves, now you can cross a bit lower and you can use them as full range um, stereo listening as well because they have ample bass. Then if you're going to be going for the floor standards, you can absolutely run those floor standards as a large speaker because they have more bass than most subwoofers would. Um, if you're going to be running a sub with the big towers, don't do a small sub. I would say PB2000 and up, um, that definitely has more bass than a PB1000. It just, it's, it's a monster. What does the center sound like? So I did a few testing. Let me just move these wires. I did a few testing just with the, all the speakers by themselves. And then I would go from a stereo to a surround mode to hear what the center speaker brings. This is voiced very differently than any of these speakers. If I would be watching a show just doing two channel, um, the voice is very nice. It's a very nice center image, phantom image that all of these speakers give that I take my hats off to SVS. It's a difficult thing to achieve. But then as soon as you drag the center in for surround sound, if I can explain it this way, you would be listening to your voice about here. 
this just elevates the voice it brings it into the room and it puts the voice around here so obviously calibration is going to change that and according to your room your mileage might change a lot but in this room in this setup this brings the center forward a lot bearing in mind i'm also playing in a cabinet which is a cavity so it does the bass does sort of come around and that will also give a lot of reinforcement to the speaker bass on the center speaker is ample a lot of bass i will do some demo testing just of the center playing so you guys can hear and i'll also do what i just said i'll do that changing over so you can hear exactly what the center speaker brings into your system so if you are going to be just doing two channel stereo it's fine if you want to take your system to the next level and make that dialogue clarity just a lot better do this but don't plug it in and then you might hear it's too bright this thing needs playing in all of the svs speakers need break in time more than i'm used to um you'll see you'll see when you plug them in for the first time it just it feels feels like it's a very forward sounding speaker and then they sort of relax they they it's almost like they're on edge when you plug them in the first time and then they sort of okay i'm used to this room now okay this is my new home they let their head down they put their feet up so that is sort of what they do with playing time so give them enough playing time um let's get into some demos i'm going to do some different things trying not to get flagged so the ship it, uh, the schnip bits are going to be short or well, you know what we can do i'm going to do one of my demo discs of the dolby atmos that's the best way to do it because um, those things don't get flagged let's do that okay what i'm going to be doing now is i'm going to be going stereo and then i will be going um adding the sensor into it so you guys can hear the difference so i've got something playing with a bit of dialogue because dialogue is mostly what we want to focus on so here we go uh what is sound sound is just a cross-modal version of touch in a way and that there are these waves that sort of move through the air and they get in your ear and they actually hit Center. back and forth uh, and so it's vibration really So what is music? Organized sound? Stereo. Sort of chaotic sounds of the world into something that involves structure and, um... Center. Why do we organize sound into music? Some people think that music was there before speech, and so the original function of music was a kind of emotional communication system. Stereo. Maybe music used to be proto-speech. I'm gonna play you some music. I'm gonna play some music. I'm play some music. <clears throat> and I want you to tell me how it makes you feel. Lost least center. How does that make me feel? That makes me feel like I'm doomed. As you hear about how much the center elevates the voice. Um, okay, so I've quickly switched over now to the bookshelf. Let's continue with the same clip. Okay, let's continue on stereo with the bookshelves. Yeah! Fierce. Maybe you want to like run out and storm the streets. That feels very comfortable to me. I love that. I fucking hate the sound of whistling. Center. Yeah. I felt a good bad. Is that possible to feel? Good bad. I, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Stereo. Range of emotions. Why did all that happen? I think of it in terms of like we're living our lives up here on the surface of the ocean. Where the center. The shit underneath. Stuff that we'll never have access to, but somehow music can get down into those depths. I don't know what that is. Is it because it's major and it's kind of on a certain scale? Because it reminds me of a certain time of my... 
Okay, now for the complete last one. I have the pinnacles on and we'll be doing the pinnacles in stereo and then bring in the center. We are starting off in stereo. I'm going all those things, but somehow the combination of it just gets around your rational defenses and just... Center. What then, having said what you just said, what is the function of music? Stereo. Um, what is the function of music? I think, uh, I feel like I should have a really... Sensor. I also feel like the question is wrong. What is the function of music? Maybe it doesn't have a function. Words are... Stereo. Codes. It's just an agreement. There's nothing innate about it. Sensor. It doesn't mean anything. It just is the thing. It's a function other than the fact that it is inevitable and it just comes out. Sensor. Avoiding the question or if that's actually what I think. I think it's what I think. Clearly uh, how these perform with any one of these as a front stage and then adding in a center. Could you hear how much the center brings the voice from here out into your living space? Um, most will actually be very happy with these on like a phantom image but if you want to have a dedicated center channel I highly recommend you add this to your system. Um, I will store this, everything you heard now is still not being calibrated. The complete direct calibration will now happen next and that will be the review of this whole system with elevation, surrounds, center, subwoofer, everything playing in harmony. So all this was was to show you how the center can be added in to give you direct center and not a phantom center. Hope it makes sense guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Like always, if you did, please give us a like, subscribe, follow and share this video. Um, and for all the guys that have been asking to add in the center, let me know what did you think? Did you like it? Are you going to be adding one into your system? Um, I think it's a must. The center speaker for me, 80% of movies happen on that center speaker. So I say center and subwoofer are your two most crucial pieces in your cinema. Then you add your front stage, then you add your height layer. But without the center and the sub, the recipe for me is just not a good foundation. Guys, enjoy. Till the next one, I'm going to start calibrating up the system now, getting the speakers where they need to be. See you soon. Cheers. Bye.